Hi everyone, this is Star. I am a independent chalk couture designer and I've been so excited about all this, I couldn't wait to show you. And one of the reasons um, is the first one I ever saw was this chicken and I just loved it. So um, hopefully I get it all in my thing. Anyway, I'm not real good on videos. Everybody knows that, but I try. So um, first thing, I have my, my uh, silk screen chicken and I'm going to fuzz it off and fuzzing it off means so it won't stick to the board so I can't get it off. And what you do is you run your finger down the silk screen and then you flip it over. And what we want to do is remove the backer sheet from the silk screen. I go like that. And if you noticed, I'll show it to you in a second. Get my fingers unstuck too. On the back of the of uh, the silk screen, you write what it is because it has to go on the back of sheet the right way, and the right way is the shiny way. So anyway, and we put it on this towel. We're going to flip it over because what they say we got to do is fuzz it. So we're going to fuzz it, and you have to fuzz it about four or five times. And what this does is make it so it doesn't stick so hard you can't get it off, yet does stick solid enough so you can uh, silk screen. I should have probably put the thing in the door. Oh. I'll do it again. I got a lot of lint. I noticed that. I have to get that off if there's any in the silk. Won't matter so much in the other spots, but in the silk part, don't want too much of that showing. Cause that'll get under the silk screen. And the possibilities of these silk screens are endless, and I can hardly wait to show you some of the ideas that I've come up with already. And um, I see we got some fuzzies. I should have probably thrown the towel in the dryer first. I think it'll be all right. Okay. One more time. We'll see if we pick up any more fuzzies. <laughs> okay. So this is what we're doing. We're defuzzing it. And since um, I don't have very good perspective of uh, what is straight because of my eyes, I, I measured and put down a piece of tape and okay we'll put that over there anyway so I put a piece of tape in here so that I could know what was straight and what wasn't because I'm not real good at straight anymore All you do, oh, I see a fuzzy right there. Let's see if I can get him out. And when you pull on this, you have to pull from the center because we don't want to stretch it diagonally. I think that'll be all right. Okay. 
when I wash them, I will definitely get those fuzzies up. But I don't think it's going to matter right now because they're not anywhere where it's going to be important. So what I'm doing with my fingers is I'm smoothing it out so that the transfer sticks to the board and there'll be no air bubbles. That's, that's the biggie. You don't want any air bubbles. Okay, that looks good. Yeah. And I don't have to move out all of this up here because that's not part of the design. I'm only concerned with right where the design is. And if I want to double check and make sure I have them all out, I can just go like that. And that kind of smooths it all out. And notice I'm not going at an angle. I'm going straight across. Yeah, I think that's good. Now, what we have is this. It's called chalk paste. It's made by Chalk Couture. And what we're going to do is put it on and... I have it in the, I don't know how much my camera's picking up, so I'll show you. I have it kind of like in the consistency of like a cake batter. So we're just going to spread it around. And then we're going to go back over. We're not dilly -galling. we're just going back over and we're going to make sure that we got it pushed down into all of the screening. <clears throat> now what is nice about using the paste is, say I screw it up, just, I don't know, do something wrong? Well, then I can just get it under with a wet uh, cloth or with uh, Lysol and just wipe it all off. It won't matter. I probably shouldn't be talking and just showing you. Just show you. Now, since it's so big, I'm going to use my big squeegee. And put my paste back in the jar. See, it doesn't use much paste, you know, after you get it all on and spread out. It doesn't use much. Okay. And then we're going to reveal, we're just going to pull down, pull up and down. Now, did I miss any? Let's see if I got that good enough. We'll go back over and make sure I got good enough. Okay. And you can check as you're pulling. I'm going to pull to the sky. Isn't that amazing? I just love it. I hope you can see it. Didn't that turn out great? That is so neat. Now I might come in later after it dries and add just a hair of the red right on this comb and right there. Wouldn't that be neat? Okay, well, that's all I'm going to show you right now. I have to go wash my transfer, but 
when I get better at this, I'm going to start showing you all these great ideas that you can do with this transfer, including how you can rug hook and punch using the transfers. It's going to be wonderful, and I've got some great ideas. I'll talk to you soon.